Want to find out how to make your own jigsaws? Well, let's get crafty. You'll need a photo, 5 by 7 a craft knife, although end up not using that, some collal tacky glue, some mount board, and a jigsaw die. We are using the Crafter's Companion Abstract Jigsaw Die, 5 by 7 inches. Firstly, you're going to take the tacky glue and cover your mount board really well in the glue. Give it a good spread over to make sure it's nice and even as the mount board tends to soak in the glue. It looks like a lot of glue but I assure you, you will need this amount. Next, we're just going to spread that glue out evenly. You can use an old credit card, a piece of card, anything really just to get it on there. And then we're going to repeat this process on the back of the photograph as well. Again, we're using quite a liberal amount of glue, but I assure you it's all fine. Spread your glue out again, and then you're just going to flip your photo over and stick it onto your mount board. You want to really make sure your photo is adhered well to the mount board, so press it down really hard and brayer over the top. I actually just use my jumper sleeve, which I probably wouldn't recommend as a brayer. Again, you can use a credit card, a piece of card, or an actual brayer, or your jumper sleeve, whatever works for you. Once you've got that stuck down, let it fully dry, and then take your jigsaw die and line it up over your image. And then I'm going to use some washi tape or low tack tape, anything you have, to secure the die in place. I think it's important to secure your die because sometimes, especially if you're using a Gemini Pro, the die can slip and you really don't want that to happen when you're making your jigsaw. So a few pieces of washi tape on the edge. Just don't cover the actual image with the washi tape as sometimes this can leave an indentation. Next, we're going to run it through our machine. So the plate combination is your clear cutting plate your plastic shim, and then your top plate. I've just slipped a piece of paper in as well, just to protect my top plate from getting any marks on it. And I'd recommend that you run it through your Gemini at least two to three times. You'll see if the die has cut through to the back of the mount board, you can check. I ran it through three times. So here it is when it comes out of the die machine. Just peel back the piece of paper and then release the excess frame and just pop out your jigsaw pieces. As I ran it through three times in the machine, they come out super easily. As you can see here, none of them have stuck and it's cut really cleanly, which I was quite surprised about, but really happy. After I've popped out all the pieces, I decided that the back of the jigsaw looked a bit plain with the white mount board. So I decided to grab a Lavinia star stamp and some Distress Oxide ink and ink up all these pieces individually. In retrospect, it would have been easier to do this process while still attached to the die, but hey ho, we live and learn. Next, we're going to create a gift box to put the jigsaw in. So I cut a piece of card nine and a half by seven and a half inches and scored at one inch on all sides. Here I'm using the Hunky Dory 12 by 12 scoreboard. So you push your lid to one end and score. And then for the second sheet, you push it to the other side of the scoreboard, which makes the box lid slightly larger than the box base. So it's easy to open and close your box. And again, scoring at one inch on all four sides. Once you've got it scored, you want to burnish your score lines and then slit the corners and then construct your box. We used red liner tape because we think that's nice and strong and gives a secure hold. But it's up to you. You can use any adhesive that you want. We really enjoyed making this jigsaw and think it's an absolutely great idea as a gift for someone as you can personalise it with any photo. So if you have a special memory 
or a favourite photo of your child, you can turn it into a jigsaw for you to do as a family together or it would be perfect for a Christmas gift. What do you think? Would you like to make your own jigsaws? Is this something you would try? And do you have this dye at home? Drop us a comment below. We do love to hear from you. Once you've got your box constructed, all you need to do is decorate it. We use the same image as the jigsaw on the front with some fancy frames and some matte and layering on the outside with some baseball stamps and baseball bats. I hope you like our jigsaw make and will consider making it as a gift for someone as well. If you liked today's video, please smash that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe and until next time, thanks for watching and happy crafting.